Ronald James comes in with a question about monitors, monitor resolution, performance, and what to expect. First, a word from our sponsor, Crypto.com, home of the Visa card that pays you up to 8% in rewards and the app that pays you up to 14.5% annually on your crypto stake. Join more than 10 million users on the world's fastest growing crypto app as you trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. More information and a special signup offer at the end of this video. He says, just bought the Dell Alienware monitor that you listed. He's got a Ryzen 9 5950X, a 3090. Could you shed some light on performance from 32 inch 1440p? Thanks for the advice. Yes, the trick is to do some math. And I know not everybody likes math, but math is an amazing thing. I'm gonna pull a calculator up here and we're gonna talk about some math here. In fact, I'm gonna pull two calculators up and put them side by side. I know it's amazing. We have the technology, we can do it. So we're looking at two calculators right here. And on this left calculator where you can see my purple mouse button here, we're going to look at what a standard 32 inch 1440p monitors resolution is. Now at these resolutions, your graphics card is your primary, lim primary limitation in terms of frame rate. Frame times will be your CPU and overall load of the system. but in this case, it's mostly about resolution and frame rate. 2560 is the horizontal resolution of a 32 inch 1440p monitor. If it was 34, it should be one of those ultra wides. Correct. But he's got a 32, so it's 2560 times 1440 leaves you with 3,686,400 pixels on the screen. Correct. And so if you have, for the sake of discussion, a 144 hertz 1440p, monitor, standard monitor, your graphics card has to drive 530,841,600 pixels per second to get 144 frames per second. At 60, you'd multiply times 60 and so on. Now, the monitor that is being referenced here is this one. He just bought this monitor. This is a 38 inch ultra super premium everything monitor. And I should have said bright screen warning. Now it's on sale for Black Friday today for $1,099. Plus you can get $32 back in rewards and 5% off if you use your crypto.com visa card. But putting that issue aside, this is an amazing monitor. It is huge. It is big. It is all the technology except for OLED. It doesn't have that, but it does have nano IPS for one millisecond response time. And if we scroll down, you'll see it's an interesting, interesting resolution. It's 1600p instead of 1440p. So it's 3840 by 1600 at 144 hertz. And the reason this is important, if I can bring the two calculators back up, 3840 is the horizontal resolution times 1600 times 144 hertz. That is 884 million seven hundred thirty-six thousand pixels per second that need to be driven. It's not double a 1440p monitor. But it's much more than 530 million. It's about, what, 80%, 75% higher? So if you were happy with the 3090s performance, you need two 3090s. No kidding. I will say this. You have the right CPU and graphics card for this. If you're getting a 38 inch 1600p monitor and you're playing new modern games, the 3090 is kind of it. Yeah, and, I, and some people would say, well, well, would a 3070 Ti or, or 2080 Ti do it? No, what about a 3080? VRAM would be a limitation. With six million pixels, it's not as much as 4K, but it's a lot more than 1440p. Not quite double. You're getting a lot of VRAM to drive that. And the 10 gigs of VRAM on a 3080 is just sad. Shame on you, NVIDIA. Jensen, I'm taking your leather jacket away from you for only putting 10 gigs of VRAM on that thing. How many of you have a Visa card that pays you up to 8% on every purchase? Crypto.com offers an amazing deal on their Visa card with cash back that is an unbeatable deal. No annual fee, no sign-up fee, and no credit checks or interest payments. It works just like a prepaid debit card, allowing you to spend your money 
everywhere Visa is accepted. But wait, there's more. Get your Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon Prime subscriptions 100% paid for by Crypto.com. Yes, you heard me right. Use your new Crypto.com Visa card to pay for your subscriptions and you get 100% back in rewards. How would you like to earn up to 14.5% annual interest on your crypto holdings? If you're holding crypto for investment, inflation protection, or price speculation, it can be frustrating feeling like your money is just parked. Interest is paid weekly directly to your account to spend however you like. The interest is also paid in the same token that you're holding. So if you have Bitcoin staked, you are in Bitcoin. If you have Ethereum staked, you are in Ethereum and so on. Of course, you can also buy, sell, and exchange 200 plus different cryptocurrencies. Crypto.com is first and foremost a crypto exchange. There is so much more to explore, I have barely scratched the surface. DeFi or decentralized finance features, including a private wallet with full control of your private keys, margin and derivatives trading options for advanced traders, crypto credit allows you to borrow against your holdings with no deadlines or credit checks, crypto NFTs allows you to explore the new world of non-fungible tokens, crypto pay allows you to pay any merchant with crypto and earn up to 10% back in rewards. If you are looking for the place to be in crypto, use our link down in the video description below to sign up today. You will get a $25 crypto sign up bonus and 30 days of 0% transaction fees on credit and debit card purchases of crypto. It supports the channel and gets you a great offer to get started. This same math equation works for any monitor question of you have 1080p and you're going to 1440p, do the math. 1920 by 1080 times uh, uh, would gives you about 2 million pixels versus 3.6 million on 1080p, on 1440p. 1440p ultra wide, which is 3440 by 1440, is about 5 million pixels. So it's 2 million, 3.6, 5, 6 million, 8.3 million on 4K, and so on. If you upgrade your monitor, keep your video card in the back of your mind because if you were using an RTX 3060 on a 1080p monitor and you go to a 1440p ultra wide, you are likely to be horribly disappointed because it's two and a half times the pixels. Correct. Yeah. And we've done videos on Bite Science Tech on upgrading your GPU and your upgrading monitor. Hopefully that answers your question, but since you have the best that exists at the time we're recording this. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. It will not run as fast as you're used to. You will have to find, and of course, it's a great monitor. I will caution you. You're committing to buying the, the, the best video card every other year. When the 4090 comes out, don't ask, just buy it. When the 5090 comes out, don't ask, just buy it. You're gonna be buying the top end video card every generation for the foreseeable future. It's part of the price you pay when you buy such a nice monitor, which is also why if the thousand dollars for that monitor bothers you, you're going to really hate to find out the cost of the video cards to drive it. 